I think one thing one can truly say is that the players are prepared for the day of the concert. I always say that the most difficult time on a concert day is the time between the last note and the first beer. Let's go backstage and see if we can talk to some of these amazing musicians. Stefan, do you have a minute to just... Uh... I have no minute now. Okay. So you... Okay. I mean, I'm preparing actually. Okay, right. I I'm have sorry. no piano. Can we, can we practice, please? I never practice. He give me now practice, Mika, please. Mika, um, can we, uh, can I ask you a couple of questions? I'm really going to keep practicing, actually. Lawrence. Can you just go away now? Oh, please, please. please. Yeah? Okay. Miss concert, what very important festival, please, uh, Alexei. So ridiculous. We always, this, always this disturbing. You, for money, you, know? you make this for money. No, no, not money here. Are you film for money? No, no, please. Please. Yeah. Really, thank you. Yeah. Immediately go, immediately. Not go, go. But who are these people, really? Are classical musicians as unapproachable as they seem? Or are they human, like you and me? Is there still space for classical music? And who are the masters who pass on the skills? Who are the teachers who taught us? Pavel Vernikov and Boris Kushnir are world-famous violin professors. But who are their pupils? And why are they wearing sunglasses? Is it to protect their pupils? For me, Boris, really best professor for moment mm -hmm. for moment for this moment is yes. best professor after me and uh, in work but in the world know, and first class first i class. business class but boris first is first class, first class. First class. First class. First class. Yeah.